The McGinty government announces new legislation today to freeze public sector wages. A TTC fare hike may be in the works, and Lady Gaga fights critics over her weight gain. Humber News starts now. Hello, it's Wednesday, September 26th. Welcome to Humber News, coming to you from the Broadcast Center here at the North Campus. <clears throat> I'm Claire McCormack. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Alex Fuller. Ahead on our show, we have all your news, sports, and entertainment highlights, as well as your five-day weather forecast. But first, Claire has our top story. We start today with good news for some students. Ontario's leading universities have joined together to launch an initiative that allows students to transfer their credits. This means they may complete their degrees more quickly. Jeanette Liu has the story. Students working towards getting their bachelor degrees might be happy to hear that seven of Ontario's top universities are giving them a credit break. The universities have launched an initiative that allows students the option to transfer their course credits from the participating schools. McMaster, Queen's, University of Ottawa, University of Toronto, Waterloo, Western and Guelph University are the seven member post-secondary schools involved in the credit transfer initiative. But despite Guelph's participation, Guelph Humber students who are affiliated with the university are unable to take advantage of this opportunity. Some students say they aren't happy with the decision. And it is a little unfair because we are allowed to be involved in other aspects at Guelph, such as like sports teams, so it almost makes sense that we should be able to be involved in that aspect. Uh, you know, a lot of us are from out of town, I'm from Ottawa, and it'd be nice to be able to do summer courses close to home. Uh, I like going home in the summer, and unfortunately I'm going to have to stay over next summer. Abby Blinch, communications coordinator for Guelph Humber, says despite not being included, students still have the option to transfer their credits. Um, however, that doesn't mean that our students are unable to take courses at different universities. At Guelph Humber, if you're interested in taking a course, for instance, at Ryerson, um, perhaps it's offered in the summer when it's not offered in the summer here, you need to fill out a letter of permission with your academic advisor. Participating students will have a wider range of courses to choose from and could possibly graduate just a little sooner. Jeanette Liu for Humber News. Ryerson University will be holding two community meetings this week about sexual assaults on campus. A total of five reported assaults took place over the past few weeks, with the most recent incident reported on September 15th. Ryerson student unions will be meeting today and tomorrow to discuss prevention and safety measures. Transit riders may want to start saving their nickels. The TTC will be discussing a five-cent fare hike on Thursday for tokens and metro passes. TTC Chair Karen Stintz says the increase would generate $18 million a year. Toronto's transit is currently facing a $30 million deficit for its 2013 budget. Stintz says the TTC needs to consider either a fare hike or cuts to the service. If approved, the hike could mean riders will pay $30 more for a monthly metro pass. The Ontario Liberal government will announce new legislation today to extend a two-year wage freeze across the public sector. The plan is part of an attempt to minimize the province's $15 billion deficit. McGinty has been vocal about his intention to introduce a wage freeze if no results could be reached through collective bargaining. It is expected the impact of the new law would not be felt immediately because the legislation would be imposed as contracts expire. After Finance Minister Dwight Duncan lays out the government's plan, it is anticipated there will be a backlash from several unions. Humber College is not just a purveyor of education. The college is being recognized for its role in employing Canada's young workers. Patricia Bratzel has more. Humber is adding to its list of accolades for employment excellence. For the second year in a row, the college has been recognized as Canada's top employer for young people. Karen Fast of Humber's Career Centre says the college does an excellent job of retaining employees. Over the next few years, we've got a very strong uh, staff that stays. Nobody leaves Humber, or rarely. So we've got people who have been here 25 years, 35 years. Canada's top youth employers are determined by a set of criteria, including how an employer attracts and retains its workers. Methods include tuition assistance, career management, and training programs. Some employees say it's the positive atmosphere and opportunity to work in an educational environment that makes Humber an attractive option. Uh, the students are great. Uh, there's a lot of people who just don't know what they need and what they need to do uh, when school starts, so it's kind of good to kind of 
uh, guide them in the right direction. Like For uh, students at the college, work-study programs allow them to bounce their work schedule with their academic studies. College. Uh, working at the college is great because it works around your hours, um, not necessarily just your hours, your entire uh, schedule. They also understand when you have projects that would coincide with work hours, they can find someone to replace. With Humber's record enrollment this year and plans to expand the campus, more job opportunities will be available. Patricia Bratzel, Humber News. Putting new meaning to the word school pride, Toronto residents will meet today to talk about interest in a gay-centric high school. Though a formal plan has not yet been given to the Toronto District School Board, the school would be available to all students. The board says it is open to all alternative school proposals. Reports say a University of Toronto student is leading the project. The meeting will take place at 6.30 p.m. today at the 519 Church Street Community Centre. Some Ontario residents are surprised to discover cell phone towers they didn't know were there. An Oakville woman discovered eight cellular network antennas attached to a chimney 13 meters from her son's bedroom window. By law, residents have to be informed by telecommunications companies if a tower exceeds 15 meters in height. However, antennas have been found in Oakville and Barrie that are 14.9 meters high. Humber College celebrated the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and National Tree Day today. A tree planting ceremony took place at 11 o'clock this morning. A 250 centimeter caliper bur oak tree was planted in honor of Humber College's Child Development Center. It is one of 19 that will be planted in each of the Horticultural Association's provincial districts. When we come back, we'll have more news from across the country and around the world. Elton Hobson will have the sports news and we'll have your weather forecast with Tash Ahot. Now that fall is here, expect cooler temperatures for the remainder of your week and weekend. Your five-day forecast right after this.